Hello, 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 my fire, earth, signs, cusps, actually. Um, so this is going to be for Leo Virgos, Sagicorns, and Aries Taurus cusps. So we are going to take a look at what your dreams are trying to tell you. Definitely check out your um, individual elements if this reading resonate, doesn't resonate or if you feel called to any of their titles. Uh, definitely go check them out. And I want to apologize before we get started for my voice if it sounds a little bit weird, um, uh, if I sound a little bit out of breath, if I cough. Uh, actually I actually haven't been coughing, so that's a good sign. But I do have a little cold, so just bear with me. But let's get into your reading. So we do have here... Oh, actually, don't forget to also, if you haven't already, uh, don't forget to go fill out the cusp survey I have below because um, that really helps me understand your cusp a little bit better, okay? So, we're going to start here with some symbols for you that you may have or you may have not seen in your dreams, and they are going to tell us what uh, your dreams are trying to tell you, okay? So, we do have teacher. I actually feel like you, it doesn't necessarily have to be a teacher. I do feel like you could have dreamed about uh, school, specifically, maybe a classroom uh, or some particular class. Um, but we also have chase, pregnancy, and falling. Um, I kind of feel like it's interesting. I kind of am getting a little bit of um, water fire, water fire, yeah, uh, water fire cusp reading. So definitely check it out if that uh, calls to you. Uh, but there's a little bit of that energy when it comes to new beginnings because pregnancy, it's like you're growing to your something. You're, it's like you have a new beginning here. Whether it is about love, about career, take that however it resonates. But it's something that I feel like your soul is really pushing you towards. It's something that I feel like it's part of your life path. However, I feel like what you're telling yourself is that you're going to fail, is that you're being tested and you're not going to make that test. You're not going to pass that test. And you are being challenged, not by the universe, not by your spirit guides. You're being challenged by your subconscious mind. You're being challenged by your beliefs. And so what your dreams are trying to tell you is that you have a beautiful new beginning here. You have a beautiful new opportunity and your subconscious mind is fighting against it. It's trying to find, um, it's trying to find an argument to put you out of it, okay? And I feel like what your dreams are trying to tell you is that please don't stop, but please go for it, okay? Because that is definitely the path for you to go. That is definitely aligned with who you are and aligned with who you're meant to be, okay? So let's pull here some shells, the shells are back, uh, to get some more messages for you. Whoa, that's a lot. But I guess we'll take them. I guess we'll take them. So, very interesting. I absolutely love this because um, there is a lot about releasing, a lot about healing. So we have this shell right here, which is basically the devil in reverse. So it's pretty much like saying you're coming out of a bad situation. You're really changing and shifting here your patterns, your cycles, your karma, right? You're healing a lot of things. This is my Ten of Wands in reverse. So again, Ten of Wands upright, it's all about burdens and wounds and just like things really being really heavy, like the weight of the world on your shoulders. In reverse, you're letting them go. You're putting them down, right? And there could actually be someone here to help you. Um, and so this could be about... This could be how simple as like a tarot reader <laughs> like myself. This could also be, I'm also hearing books. Um, and it could also be like, for example, referencing to those books, it could be uh, about journaling, right? But I do feel like there's like a physical person, a physical presence here that is trying to help you. I also feel like you're receiving a lot of messages um, from your spirit guides, maybe through synchronicities or something like that. But um, you're definitely receiving some help to help you clear away these things because what is stopping you is this. What is stopping you is uh, scarcity mindset is fears, is things telling you that you're going to fail, that you're going to get hurt, that things are not going to work out in your favor. Things are always working out in your favor, especially when you have the universe shell coming forward. This is telling you, you are on the right path. This is telling you, I'm, I'm getting really big magician vibes. This is telling you that your manifestations are coming forward. 
but they can only come forward if you allow yourself to open the door, if you allow yourself to go towards that new beginning, okay? This, I, I really feel like, I mean, it's going to be up to you to determine, but I'm really getting strong career vibes. It could definitely also be about love. Um, or in the love portion, if you have, uh, maybe you're meeting someone that is going to be a great teacher for you. Maybe you're connecting with someone that is a great teacher for you and may help you with this uh, thing around career. So take it however resonates, but push forward, okay? Push yourself to see beyond your limitations. Oh, I just saw 555. Five, five. That is beautiful. So a lot of change is happening and I feel like your dreams are telling you, go towards that change, believe in that change, right? Take the leap of faith towards new beginnings, okay? So let's see here what we have. Beautiful Knight of Pentacles with that earthy energy. It's like you don't have to rush, you know? You don't have to accomplish everything today or tomorrow or the next day. You can take it one step at a time. But if you're putting in the effort, you are going to eventually reach here. King of Pentacles. This situation, whatever it is, um, it's going to bring you so much money. It's going to bring you a life partner, okay? I do feel like for most of you, this is about career. Please move towards it. You don't have to do like a huge amount of things. But it's, it's like if each and every single day you put a little bit of effort, you do a little something um, in this project, in this new beginning, in whatever it is, you are going to reach here, okay? If you just keep avoiding it, if you just keep putting it on hold, it's going to take a lot more freaking time. And the Knight of Pentacles is already pretty slow, right? So just go for it. Let's see. Magician. Oh, wow. That is crazy. So yeah, it's like you, you have been manifesting this. Maybe you have been manifesting um, love. We do have the lovers here. Maybe you have been manifesting abundance. Maybe you have been manifesting a new life, a new apartment, a new dog. <laughs> I don't know. And for you to get into that, you have to align with other things, right? So whatever you're manifesting, visualize what you want. And then try to figure out what are the habits of that person that has that thing. So you want a new apartment. Okay, well, visualize yourself in that new apartment, in that new house. Who is that person? Who are you there? What are your habits? What do you do? What are your mindsets? What are your beliefs? What is your career? Who are your, what are your relationships like? And start putting in the effort towards it. Okay? And I definitely feel like there's something here around career. Lovers is about a choice, okay? It is up to you to follow this or not, but you are missing on all of these happiness. Look at that. Yeah, abundance, um, teamwork, R people really looking up to you. This dude is on like a bench, is on sort of like a pedestal, let's call it. Um, so it's people really looking up to you. There's this beautiful union between your, your cusp energies with a lot of fun, a lot of joy, a lot of recognition, but also your subconscious mind and your soul being satisfied. This is your choice. It all comes from this. It all comes from you following your heart. And I feel like your heart is taking you there. Your mind though is saying, are you sure, honey? Are you sure though? Are you sure it's safe for us to go there? Okay? So we also have the three of cups, come here, and the page of pentacles. This one's come out too. Two of cups. So, um, for some of you, this could actually be about love. Maybe it's about both, right? Maybe you're being a little bit, ah, uh, I kind of have a new beginning in career. I'm not sure if it's safe for me to go. Uh, I do have, for some of you, it could actually be a reconciliation or it could be a friendship turning into something more. Because um, I don't really get like it's new love. I feel like this, you already know this person. Um, and I'm not really sure what to do about this. Is it really safe? Am I going to ruin the friendship? Am I going to ruin everything? If you're feeling called to go that way, if your heart is there, let your heart be there. Unless if it's toxic. If it's toxic, please let it go. But, I mean, no, no toxicity here at all. <laughs> you have two cups, beautiful union. You have three cups, which is all about celebration and fun and joy. And again, maybe it's not actually a love partner. I mean, with the two of cups, it could be. But it could actually be a friendship here that is really giving you all the tools, all the encouragement, is really helping you see the potential of your ideas, is helping you see how far you can go, okay? So please do not give up. Please put your efforts into this beginning, okay? 
please do so. Ugh. Cause also when it comes to love, I feel like this is going to, first of all, a magician, this is someone you have been manifesting, okay? And also, I feel like it's going to lead to this beautiful, loving, caring um, union. And you're the only one uh, stopping yourself from getting all of this. Okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see here. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Beautiful. The new moon that we are going to have in Pisces on the 2nd or 3rd of March could be significant. Look at that. A new romantic cycle begins. Ah. Oh. So it's like this love, it's something you have been manifesting. So it's not a lesson, it's not toxic, it's not heavy, it's not here to trigger you. I mean, it may, and it may already be doing that, but it is all because you're healing, right? But it's here to teach you what true love is about, okay? This career, it's not supposed to bring you to failure. It's supposed to bring you closer to your manifestations, okay? Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Oh my God. Do it. Just do it. Let's see here. Oh my God. I'm loving this. We also have confidence is your key to success. Um, and it's so interesting because I'm a Leo Virgo and I feel like I'm resonating with this a little bit. Um, so it's like I'm smacking my own ass and being like, girl, get it together. But um, confidence is your key to success. Please believe in yourself. Okay, and um, with those limiting beliefs and you being the only one that is blocking you, you may need to do a little bit of journaling. You may need to do a little bit of healing to figure out what is happening. Okay, what are your fears? What do you, the, what do you imagine that could happen here? What is the worst case scenario? What is the best case scenario? Okay, what are the things that are telling you that you're not supposed to, to do this? What are the things that are telling you that you're actually supposed to do this? And I feel like it's interesting because, for example, when it comes to career, maybe the things that you're supposed, the things that are telling you that you're not supposed to do this could be fear, could be like internal things, not necessarily like external things, like blockages or anything like that. When it comes to things that are telling you that you're supposed to do this, it's like whenever you do that, money comes in like magic. Whenever you do that, you feel happy. People, you get in a better mood and your relationships improve. That is telling you that that is your path. When it comes to a relationship, for example, what are the things that are telling you that you are not supposed to uh, be together, that this person is not for you? Maybe there's, uh, for some of you, there could be a separation if this is a reconciliation. Well, isn't that separation actually beneficial because you're healing, right? What are the things that are telling you that are working, things are working in your favor and this is supposed to be a person? Maybe you feel really happy around them. Maybe they are actually really healthy and they challenge your beliefs around commitment and around relationships to something better. Maybe you get really well along together. Maybe if you are in separation uh, and this is about a reconciliation, maybe you're getting a lot of synchronicity, especially with this universe shell. Maybe you're getting a lot of tarot readings saying, hey, this person is the one. Hey, this person is coming back if, the, if it is a reconciliation. Look at the signs. And I feel like the signs are going to tell you exactly the opposite of what your mind is telling you. Okay, so step out of your comfort zone and go for it. Let's see here. And you know, that thing of like this reading actually resonating with me is that this is why I love tarot and doing tarot readings is because even when things resonate with me, I end up saying things that I never really thought about. So it's like, it's really helpful for me too, which is incredible. Uh, so we have out trick or treating, we're here, your manifestations are here and we have another five. So again, more change. And again, your mind could be, tra could be saying, oh, it's just a, tri a trick, but it could actually be a treat. Okay, could be something really good. Making space, clearing time. And we also have transitions to the spirit realm. So I really feel like you're aligning with your higher self. I feel like you're aligning with your future self and really attracting all the things that you're craving for, all the things that you imagine in five years, it could be happening now if you allow yourself to do that now. Okay, you do have some healing here. 
to, um, to do for you to be able to connect with these things. Because right now you could be pushing them away. So let's see here some more messages. So then we can finish this with some messages and advice from the universe. So <laughs> you are in line with your higher self. Look at that. Have faith you'll make it. Your soul tribe wants to meet you. So again, you have here another sign that, hey, this person is your soulmate. Okay, this person is for you. We also have 444. Four, four. So a lot of stability is coming forward. I also feel like your 444 uh, four, four is also about like protection. So um, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Nice. Uh, so it's like you're protected. You're protected in this new beginning. You're protected in um, your life, in your future. And it's also about Uh, like foundation. So what are your foundations looking like around the situation? What are your beliefs around the situation looking like? Okay, you may need to reframe it a little bit. Uh, you are doing great. Keep going. Yeah, do not stop. Please go towards that new beginning. Please go towards this relationship, this career path, whatever it is. This is a lesson. Learn it. It is a lesson for you to get out of your head and connect more with your heart because I feel like your heart is already giving you all the answers you need. It's already telling you everything that you need to know about the situation. Your intuition is already telling you everything you need to know about the situation. Your mind, however, is telling you, are you sure? Right? It's about getting out of there. So let's see here um, some final messages and advice from the universe. What do we have? Oh, nice. So we do have follow your intuition, what we just talked about. We also have hang it tight, change is coming, embrace it. We also have here, trust your spirit guides in the universe. And let's get one more or two more, whatever, whatever the universe wants to give us. The universe wants to give us two more and it's beautiful. Now we have a new beginning on the horizon. Look at that and internal factors. So the only person stopping you is yourself. There is change coming. There is new beginnings coming. Please don't stop, don't stop yourself from getting your manifestations because these new beginnings, these changes are manifestations, okay? So please, please go for it, all right? Go for it. So my beautiful Fire Earth Cuspies, I hope this resonated. I hope it helped if it did don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe if you haven't already and um if you're interested in diving a little deeper into this the link is going to be down below for a private reading and don't forget about that cusp survey i would really appreciate it and i think that's it so i wish you the freaking best which apparently is what you're receiving um i love you very much and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye